Right, George, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed for the Remembering Robber Project. Um, the questions are much the same for everybody, and, um, but if you want to go away from the point uh, with your memories, then um, feel free to do so. Question one, what, uh, what, what was your first connection to Robber? Oh. I think going down Walkley Hill in my pedal car to meet my dad coming from work and coming home on the sweeps cart he spotted me down by the court gardens and brought me home I was going down the middle of the road in your pedal car? in my pedal car I was about four. Oh, right. <laughs> and was your dad a chimney sweeper? I'm just, just trying to follow your line of thought there. Uh, no, my dad worked at Daniel's. Is. He was an engineer of some sort. Right. And uh, Charlie Cook was a chimney sweep. He was coming on with his Betsy in the cart. Oh, right. Uh, so he gathered me up and brought me home. Oh, lovely. Is that, <laughs> that was about 1935, if I got it right? 30, 38, that'd be 38. Sorry. Yeah, the end of 30. Well, in the summer of 38, I think. All oh, right. What a lovely yeah. story. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when, when, why and where did you move to Robborough? No, we come down from London. Uh, Dad was with the RAF at uh, Hendon. And we got posted to Benson originally. And then he was posted to Ashton Down. Oh, right. And uh, he had a cottage along Butterer West. Oh, right. And he went back to uh, Hendon during the war. Okay. And then come down, but we stopped and never went back. Right. Uh, well, we couldn't do because the house we had lived in with my granny was bombed and it, it was no longer there. Oh, so your granny's house was bombed in London? Yeah. Oh, dear. Was there any, I mean, what? Deaths or I don't think so. I so can't remember offhand. Uh, I know uh, Dad and his brother went up to try and uh, salvage anything, but there was some furniture. Yeah, probably during the Blitz, was it? Yeah, or, or not well, nineteen forty. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay. Now, um. Was your first impression or memory of Robbra the one about the, um, rather than uh, your first connection to Robbra, that was the first question, um, another early memory of Robbra, shall we say, uh, apart from the lovely pedal car story. Yeah. Um, every Tuesday, Lion's Ice Cream Van used to deliver the ice cream to the post office on the corner of Robbra Hill. Oh, right. I don't remember waiting there for it to come in. Right. Yeah. I think... Uh, Without a corn, it was a penny. If you had a corn, it was tuppence. Oh, right. <laughs> <coughs> um, Frank Rich has told me about the bakery next to the Princess Royal, and I couldn't quite... What, can, was it no, it not next to the Princess Royal. It was farther on down. Right. Um, Baker Gardner? Was yeah, it? Baker Gardner and no, his daughter, Kathleen. Right. Uh, but it was... As you go along the lane, yeah, uh, there's a bit of a recess on your right hand side behind Robert Terrett that are Oh right, okay. And the bakery was up there. Oh, I see. So the building's gone now, is it? No, it's a private house now. It's oh, right. got a bit of a. Well, I don't know. I've been up there for years. They used to have an extension out okay. the front. So it's Mr. Gardner. Yeah, Kathleen. So yeah. right, I didn't know if it was Baker Gardner hyphenated, but of course it was Baker. Yeah. Yeah. Baker got right, thank you. And um, I remember that time when um, I met you when I was walking up the fields and you, you told me about Captain Forster. Oh. And um, uh, Natalie next door is playing in the house because Tom's going into a home and she's just, uh, she said she's found a photograph of him. And that'll be really quite lovely to see. Yeah. Now, so, was, um, you, did you ever, you, you remember seeing him about? Oh, Captain Forster, yes. Uh, I didn't know whether it was. If you've done something wrong, you've got a thwack side the head. All right. But if you've done something well, he kept tapping you on the head. Right. Uh, good work, good work, and he was slowly going down into your shoes. All right. So I think <laughs> it was always 
safer to do something wrong than you didn't get punished. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and uh, a metal plate in his head from a w wound in the Great War, is it? Well, um, down in the Stoke Hall, down in the in the school, there was a pith helmet, and it had a flash on the side, a blue and red, which denoted artillery. But I understood he was out in India. But where he got the plate in his head, Lord Harry only knows. Okay. Right. But, thank, thank you. But he, he was captain of the. Well, he was ca county president of the Bowls. That was his favourite thing in life, playing bowls. Oh, what up at the um, Prince so Albert? So the bowls, yeah, yeah. So the bowling green's been around all that time then. Oh, it's. Uh, 1903. 1903 was it? Yeah. Which is probably when the pub went up round right about, I suppose. Oh, the pub was there before. Oh, right, okay. And the post office was opposite, is that right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, post office was opposite, and next to the Prince Albert, going down Rob Rail on the, on the left hand side, was Mrs. Cook's shop, it was a little sweet shop. And right. Miss, oh, it was Mrs. Cook's next door, yeah? Yeah, yeah. to the uh, Prince Albert. So it's a bit of a silly question, this one, in a way, I think. How do you think Robra has changed over your time here? Because you could say so many things. Well, it's, it's not a silly question. It's changed uh, quite a lot, really. There's more cars mm. around. Uh, when we was used, it, we used to play marbles in the middle of the road. Oh, right, yeah. And the only vehicle you expect to see was Furley's coal wagon coming up at the end of the day. Right. Right. He'd give you plenty of warning with rattling away. So you you could play marbles in the in the even in the thirties in the in the roads. Yeah, blimey, uh, in the forties. Right. So um, as a as a young boy, how did the how did the Second World War you know affect affect you, affect you and affect life in terms of, from the point of view of a child? I don't think it affected us anyway. We just went on a, as soon as we come out of school, it was home something to eat, then we meet what we call the cockpits on the common, that's that apex, and then we just vanish all over the common. In school holidays we used to disappear, lump bread and cheese in our pocket and come back at night for a meal. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Miss Miles told me that um, she remembers walking back from a school meeting, I mean she was about 95, she had a meeting over at Highfields, and it was just before D-Day and she can remember tanks and and soldiers, you know, in, in, in the shadows and all that, that kind of thing. That was one of her memories of, of the Second World War, apart from losing her brother. Um, the only really part of the Second World War I can remember is if you went into Stroud, you'd see these big Yankee lorries flying around, deuce and a half, I believe they right. called them, generally with a Negro driver leaning out. Of course, we never seen Negroes before. No. Right. Uh, they were something from another world, but it didn't affect us too much in Stroud. Yes, we knew it was on. There was a couple of dog fights locally. Uh, I remember Peter Tickner, who uh, I used to work with. He um, he was an evacuee um, from South London, and he ended up in uh, oh dear. Um, Oh, west west of Stonehouse. The name's um, on e east east. What, what about Eastington? You? Eastington. Mm. Thank you. And and he can remember. I think uh, when he was in Cheltenham or something. See that the, the sky. He they knew that the blitz had hit Birmingham oh, because yeah. the sky was orange there. That he could see that from. But but no memories of that. Say up on the common, seeing no, the effect of the blitz no. in the, the north. The only the thing I can remember seeing was up by the fort. And for some reason, we looked out towards um, Gloucester, and this plane was up in the sky, and distinctly seen a bomb leave it. Right. And we found out later a bomb had hit Rockworth aircraft. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. But uh, that was it. There was a dogfight once between a Spitfire and a Henkel, I think it was, right. over Australia. But I think oh. the pilot come down in 